A whole bunch of good stories coming up next on Optimum Local's Neighborhood Journal. Hello and welcome to Optimum Local's Neighborhood Journal. I'm Al Clark. We have a wide variety of stories to tell you about this time, from capoeira to kids learning to play the violin to how to wash your hands. But first up, an innovative program for young people that's been around for almost 30 years. Two, From the performers. It makes me feel good, you know, to be a part of them so amazing like this. To the crew. It's an awesome experience. You learn so much here. From the parents. Honestly, words can't describe it. It's, it's just overwhelming. To the donors that support it. There's no failures in this program. The All-Stars Project has been helping kids for almost 30 years. Pick up to All-Stars. Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. The organization is a national not-for-profit that seeks to develop city kids using a unique performance-based approach. Gloria Strickland is the founding director of the New Jersey chapter. A lot of times people think, well, if you're a teenager, it's over for you. If we didn't engage you when you're young, everything you missed, it's too late. So they don't get the support that they need, but it's not over. Behind the, behind the talent show, watch. Their performance-based model uses the old-fashioned talent show as a way to develop kids and to get their foot in the door to the other programs that they offer. It's not the only program that's devoted to development, but it's certainly one of the most successful, and it's been growing by leaps and bounds. Without the All-Stars, without the support that it has, without the growth it has, the lives of so many youth in Newark, New York, and other cities would just be, it would be empower, further impoverished by it. The process starts with auditions. Paul, are you guys good? Everyone is welcome. Everyone makes it. Over the course of the next few weeks, the kids take part in workshops to not only refine their performance, but to start to instill in them the values of the group. We're all like a community. Um, put it more personal, family. Um, we treat each other the same. We're all equal. I mean, if you think about the cultural world that the young people live in, it's very competitive. It's often about me, me, me. Well, in the All-Stars, that's not what happens. The young people come together to support each other to do their best. And therefore, what's created is community. On the day of the big show, that sense of belonging to something bigger is electric in the air. I'm so excited because it's my first time and I wanted to do it since I was little and now I'm old enough to. Even the moms feel it. You don't have to worry about nobody criticizing you, it's just their own little world. The kids are not only performing in the show but are also running the show and they too feel the benefits of the All-Stars way of doing things. At first I was the type of person to say I couldn't uh, perform on stage or I wasn't able to do this job during the show or whatever the case may be. But now I can say, if you give me a job, I'll be able to take it on or be able to perform on or off stage. This is just one avenue of All Stars Project, the All Stars Project Talent Show Network. MC Charlie Brown, who came to the All Stars as an adult volunteer, sees it as a chance to give back. I mean, I'm not getting paid for this. I do it because my heart's in it. And I think young kids and other performers should be around positive people and people that can help develop them. You know, All Stars is helping me develop and whatever I learn off of that, I can pass on to them. This sharing of knowledge and experience outside of their normal environment is the core of the program. Part of it uh, starts really thinking about themselves differently and giving them experiences and exposures that allow them to concretely start to think about themselves differently to behave differently, to have different expectations of themselves, and to have the discipline, uh, not only the imagination, but the discipline to start to ch achieve that future. Ready? One, two, three, go. 
it's trying to instill a sense of not only who they are, but who they can be. It's really pulling out the greatness and the talent that each child has and giving them an opportunity to explore themselves, explore the world around them, uh, to move from one community, which is their own community, that's the one that is known, into a whole different world that's unknown, to really help them develop and become the full person that they are meant to be. A sense of belonging that can benefit not only themselves, but the broader community. We are the people who's helping them to see what the world is, what it's like, helping them experience it. And by them doing it, that's how they, for the very first time, begin to see that they can be a part of mainstream America. And who would have thought that an old school talent show could have the impact to change a life and make a community a little bit better. For more information on the All-Stars Project, go to allstars.org. We'll be right back.